Hello, my name is Matthew Singleton. I am the EMT instructor here at the Tyler ISD's Career and Technology Center. I'm a major in the Army Reserves. I currently have served for 24 years. Uh, today we're going to be reading H is for Honor, a military family alphabet by Devin Scalian, illustrated by Victor Ewan. Give me an A for Army and an A for Air Force Two. An A for all the armed services behind the red, white, and blue. They stand at attention, tall and proud, all impeccably dressed. An A for American Armed Forces. An A for the world's very best. No offense, but the letter B means that you're a brat. Your brother and sister too and there's nothing wrong with that. Military kids are known as brats, but far from wild or bad. They serve their country in their own way, just like their mom and dad. Any Marine will tell you the letter C should stand for core. It takes courage and character. It takes commitment and more. From Camp Lejeune to, to Pendleton, the Marine Corps stands by, ready to go wherever they're called, true to Semper Fi. Don't you dare dally and don't be late. Stand at attention, ramrod straight. D is for drill, drill sergeant, making things rough. You'll thank him someday for being so tough. The Navy SEALs, the Green Berets, the Army Rangers, of course, special tactics, MEUs, and the daring Delta Force. E is for the elite force. They're trained with extra care. They know too well when duty calls, danger may be there. Behind each sailor, each soldier, somebody somewhere cares. Behind each airman, coasty and marine, someone is saying their prayers. Wherever Americans fight for freedom, they're very quickly will learn. F is for family first and foremost, who wait for their return. G is just a game. It's just a game, you say. Those in the Army and Navy don't quite see it that way. The Army-Navy football game is in November. It's a celebration of the honor and the spirit of those who choose to serve their mighty nation. Not everyone hears it, it's just a few, but there's no denying it once you do. When your country calls, you do your part. H is for honor in the American heart. You're visiting HQ to see the CO. You're surrounded by several officials. You're also surrounded by so many letters. And that's why I's are for initials. R and R, T D Y, at night at the BBQ. And when you're hungry, it's all good to know an MRE will do. The letter J is just the thing to get from here to there. Here's one racing down the road, and there's another in the air. Jeeps and jets take different routes, but both of them help prove the military can keep still. It's always on the move. Pucker up for the letter K for a kiss of fabulous flair. Captured in a famous photo on a corner in Times Square. A happy sailor and a happy gal had learned the war was done. Their sweeping kiss captured the joy when World War II was won. Miles from home, too hot or too cold, lonely for months on end. L arrives in a big green sack. It's the letters that you send, the leaves are turning, the farm is fine, the puppy keeps chasing his tail. There's nothing better than getting a letter from home in the bag of mail. The letter M means military police, better known as MPs. When you live on posts 
or on a military base, you'll need a few of those. They guard the base and keep the place as secure as it can be. When you arrive at the entrance gate, MPs are the first you see. Up in the air in a fighter jet or down deep in a submarine, above the ocean beneath the sea and everywhere in between. We're riding the tide, deep blue and green, constantly churning and waving our ships, very small and impressively large. Our end stands for Navy. Military families tend to move across the nation, states, and borders. The letter O means pack up your bags for you just got your orders. Two years here, three years there, your family's on the go. Your orders mean a brand new part of the world for you to know. Our letter P will make you proud and cause a little commotion. Here's a hug and a handshake too. For P is for promotion. To move along one rank to the next takes drive and dedication. So each and every promotion is a cause for celebration. If someone asks about your quarters, I know it may sound funny, but they'd like to know about your home, not about your money. Q is for quarters, which means your house, perhaps on governmental land. Uncle Sam provides you with quarters, but they won't fit in your hand. Rise and shine for the letter R, early every day. R is the sound of, of Rivoli, heard from miles away. We raise the flag as the bugler plays with the rising of the sun. He'll play retreat with the lowering of the flag when the day is done. Sometimes the job is far away, sometimes it's far so long. Sometimes a war is being fought and we're asked to be so strong. S stands for sacrifice in the special American way of doing what's right for freedom's light to shine on the USA. Whether on a Coast Guard ship or in an Air Force jet or an Army tank or a Navy sub, you can certainly bet that you'll see people work together, busy as they can be. I think you'll find that teamwork suits us to a T. From Army Green to Desert Brown, from white to navy blue, the U stands for uniform, graceful, proud, and true. From a Marine's dress blues to a soldier's fatigues, on this we can agree. The uniform of the USA is the symbol of being free. V reminds us all of those who marched these paths before. Veterans are bound by the gift of service through times of peace and war. Old and young faces saluting the flag that waves in the sky above. All were willing to give their lives for the country that they love. For many years, if you saw a soldier, you were looking at a he. But times have changed, and now that soldier just might be a she. So W is for women defending our nation and lives. They're all American mothers, sisters, daughters, and wives. The letter X stands for exchange, which is where you, you'll want to shop. When you live on the base or live on posts, you'll need a place to shop. An exchange is a kind of department store with goods from near and far. It's a PX to some, a BX to others, depending on where you're from. Why is for the reason they do the things they do. They put their lives on the line and they'll do it all for you. For you to live a life that's free in a nation proud and strong, be glad there are those who would go to work taking your dreams along. Z can stand for Zulu, Zulu, but as odd as it may sound, Zulu sometimes stands for Z. It's the other way around. 
Z is for, Zulu is for Z, Alpha is for A, and Oscar is for the letter O. The military uses some special words to talk on the radio. I hope you have enjoyed this book, H is for Honor, A Military Family 